morning, my dear brethren. May the Lord bless you richly. I wish, I hope that you're uh, receiving this broadcast live and that we don't have any problems like we had before. But thanks to the Lord, we were able to uh, record and then later uh, upload the devotional to uh, the channels of Facebook and YouTube. We continue to reflect on this beautiful book of Ruth that many people think that, that was written by the prophet Samuel. In this occasion, we're going to go to chapter 2. In our daily devotional, we are going to read from verse 11 to verse 13. And the word of the Lord says, And Boaz answered and said to her, It has been fully reported to me all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, how you have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know before. The Lord repay your work and a full reward be given you by the Lord God of Israel under whose wings you have come to refuge. And verse 13 says, Then she said, Let me find favor in your sight, my Lord, for you have comforted me and have spoken kindly to your main servant, though I am not like one of your maid servants. What a humility in this woman. It is really surprising how Ruth, the Moabite, had a humility that called attention to herself. And the things that she did, that there were many and important things, they were not made to impress or call attention to herself, but they were coming out of a grateful heart, of a, of a heart full of love to her mother-in-law and to, to the Lord, which she had converted and given her life. Boaz, that was her husband, says that he that she left her mother, her father, her religion, her idols, everything, to help poor, old, and tired Noemi, Noemi. And also because of her love for God, she was capable of leaving her religion because she knew it was false. She left her family because she understood that her duty was to be next to Naomi because she was widow as her, she was. But it was a book where you can see the providence of God, how God takes care of those people who take refuge and, and under his wings. Like you all know, in the Bible, there's a lot of commandments in that uh, time, and they were ordered to the people of Israel that they will always have uh, present the, the orphans, the strangers, the poor, and of course, the widows. The, the people that were more in favor at that time, like, uh, like people that lost their children or their husbands, they were unprotected without any type of help, without any type of refuge. But Boaz said something very important. He said that you have taken refuge under the wings of the Lord. And it is interesting because this expression is also in, in Psalm 91. It's a beautiful psalm that you can read if you have time and you would like to do that. Ruth was a woman that took refuge on, on God and he put all her trust in, in him and nobody that puts his, their trust in the Lord will be the solution from his part. Absolutely not. On the contrary, God is always going to help and is going to shelter and bless those people that with humility are going to go and cry to him. He's a rewarder of those who seek him. The Lord Jesus Christ says in the New Testament, very beautiful words, that all that, that ask and you will find and knock, it will be open to you. And the Lord says that for everyone who has received and he who seek finds, and or what man among you, if his son asks for bread, it will give him a stone. And if he asks for a fish, he will be a servant. serpent. If you then, being evil, know how to give a good gift to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? That's our trust. That's our God. Just as Ruth, a, a woman that was alone, a woman that had no resources, took refuge 
and, and sought God for refuge. That's what we have to do, but not only now, because we're living in difficult times and testing times, but all the time that this will be a characteristic, a main thing that we do to seek God, to look for the Lord, to take refuge in Him, in the abundance, in the scarcity, in any moment and circumstance, that may the Lord be our shelter and our strength and our, and our prompt help in time of need. The book of Ruth does not say any of any wars or commandments or statutes or precepts or or they're not very big miracles like the one that Elijah said, did or Eli Elijah but it's a book that we see God in everything controlling everything and above all just blessing the lives of people with great needs people that were alone that needed love that needed to be restored And the book and the life of Ruth was completely restored because she sought her help in God, not in men. And when we see, we sincerely seek our God, it doesn't matter how difficult it is our situation may be, it, whatever our life is, the Lord will always extend His arm, His powerful hand in favor of His people and His children. The humility took refuge in the Lord, not to do things to impress people and to call attention, but to continue trusting the Lord, even though everything is okay. But the time will come when the, when the life of Ruth was not unnoticed, and a man redeemed her. A man that was her relative of her husband married her and helped her to restore her life and to continue. My dear brethren and friends, today we can take refuge in our God, trusting in Him completely, knowing that He will shelter His children, knowing that He is the God of the orphan, of the poor, of the widow, of the stranger, and, and for all those people that ask help from Him. That's why it is very good that now that we're going to welcome this weekend, that it will be a weekend that is blessed of peace, of blessing where we can trust Him and just seek refuge in Him and hold onto His promises with all our faith and heart knowing that the Lord that helped Ruth and restored this woman is our God and look what an honor God gave this woman that there is a book in the Bible that has her name even though she didn't write it Maybe it was the prophet Samuel. There is a book that every time we open that, we we'll mention the name of Ruth in honor to that woman, a humble woman, of that woman of faith, that woman that knew to wait on God, and the Lord restored her completely. So, my dear brethren, let's cry to our Lord this morning, this, in this time, and let's ask for His blessing and protection for this day. Blessed Heavenly Father, we give you infinite thanks for your mercy because your help is real, because we feel your presence every day in our lives. And we enjoy and rejoice how you restore lives and how you soften hearts and you help those who take refuge in you. Lord, we also cry to you and with all our faith that we have in you knowing that you will bless and you will help those people that cry from their heart to you this day. Lord, we present our lives in front of your presence and we ask that today and all the rest of the weekend will be a weekend directed and blessed by you and to you the honor and glory in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, it has been a pleasure being with you along this week. You know that on Saturday and Sundays, we do not have devotionals, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to seek God in prayer and to study His Word, but on the contrary. We have already developed a discipline that allows us to wake up every morning, every day, and pray and, and prepare our hearts before the Lord. I remind you, and also the virtual church around the world that this Sunday in the afternoons we're going to celebrate the, the uh, 
that the supper of the Lord so that you can be ready and participate of this important uh, time in the life of a church. Just prepare your bread and your wine so that together we can remember the, the death, the resurrection, and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren. May you have a wonderful day full of peace and joy. May the Lord bless you.